Top 5 UFOs caught on camera. UFO fleet above LA. Filmed a couple of weeks ago, by the time this video was created, residents of Los Angeles were shocked to see a whole bunch of strange flickering lights in the sky. Filmed from inside what seems to be a car, the footage is regrettably a tad shaky, but we do see what seems to be a whole bunch of these strange flickering lights high up in the sky. There's also a helicopter in the area as well, but there was no reason given to why it should or shouldn't be there. At the end of the clip, we do get one final good look at the lights. Let's zoom in and slow down the footage a bit. The fleet seems to be flying in some sort of formation, with the fleet being led by one light up front. I'm counting 9 of them in total, and especially the inner lights are flying in what appears to be a tight, triangle-like formation. It could even be one big ship with smaller lights instead of individual crafts. Actually, I found another video which shows similar UFOs. This clip was filmed in Chile last month and shows a group of flickering lights similar to our original footage. However, this one has a better close-up view of the UFOs. Do keep in mind though that there was no drone show planned around the dates this video was recorded. And they do seem to be moving at high speeds across a great distance. I wonder if a regular drone could actually do that. But there might be another explanation for these UFOs. You see, both LA and Chile are located above massive fault lines where earthquakes tend to happen. And there is a strange unexplained phenomena called earthquake lights. These strange types of light have been seen before, during and after earthquakes. However, scientists are yet to understand and explain them. It can also be indicating that an earthquake could be due soon. But what do you think those could be? Drones, earthquake lights or perhaps something more alien? Let me know in the comments what you think. Red lights in the sky. Our next clip was filmed by Kristen Meyer in Houston, Texas in June of this year. Just a couple of weeks prior to when the UFOs from the previous clip were seen. And they are eerily similar. I'm actually wondering if they perhaps are part of the same fleet. The UFOs are also flying in formation just above the horizon. And if you look closely, there is just one light like really close to the horizon, just below the triangle formation. Our camera lady Kristan mentions that her camera doesn't even pick up all the lights that she can observe with the naked eye. So there actually are a lot more lights than what we can see. She also comments that the lights have a somewhat red glow. And while we don't see the UFOs move in strange ways like we sometimes see with other UFOs, they do seem to be flying in information of sorts. The article where this video is from actually mentioned that lights similar to this one have been seen in the sky above Miami a couple of days before this video was taken. Could there be a fleet of UFOs flying around the American continent? And if so, I wonder what their goal is. It looks like a giant... This strange um, cigar-shaped UFO was filmed back in 2011 in Manchester, UK. It is seen floating high up in the sky and is either reflecting or emitting light. First thing that came to my mind was that this perhaps could be a solar balloon, something like this, made from black garbage bags. However, solar balloons usually don't reflect any light, or at least not a lot of it, because else they can't float properly. And looking at the amount of light reflecting from this thing, I actually doubt it is a solar balloon. When looking at the video frame by frame, I also spotted something strange. It might just be an insect flying across the screen, but it looks like something is shooting out of the left of this flying willy. You can see it exit the screen as well. I really wonder if this was an insect or not, because we don't see anything enter the screen, just leaving it. And it's only visible for like two frames. Either this is just a massive coincidence, or this cigar-shaped UFO is actually deploying other UFOs. And did you know that cigar-shaped UFO sightings are actually pretty common throughout history? The way this UFO reflects light actually reminds me of a UFO sighting all the way back from the year 1561 over the German city of Nuremberg. On the 21st of April, strange lights were seen in the sky. Both cigar and orb shaped UFOs would appear in the sky which, and they would seem to be fighting with each other and even falling to the earth afterwards. The event was witnessed by a ton of people and even made the local newspaper headlines. Back then, people thought it was a sign from God. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, it really helps. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell notification to stay up to date for when new videos are released. Dancing Lights in Chile Filmed on August 17th of this year in Punta Arenas in Chile, a couple of strange moving lights are caught on camera. The UFOs in this clip are moving very fast and are doing some crazy maneuvers. It's almost like they're dancing. I found this video on Reddit and some people there were wondering why these UFOs glow. As surely aliens traversing space wouldn't need headlights to see, right? And there was a great comment from a Reddit user called MC Farballs explaining what might be going on. 
Here is a quote from him explaining why these UFOs might glow. Light bends around strong gravitational fields. Hypothetically, these things fly by generating their own strong gravitational fields, which also allows them to perform such crazy high speed and maneuvers without killing anybody that's inside the craft. It's a side effect of generating enough gravity to create lift to be able to traverse space. I think he explains it really well. And if you're interested in this type of stuff, I recommend listening to Bob Lazar's interview, as it is pretty interesting what he has to say about the subject. But what do you think they are? And if these crafts are not from this world, what could their goal be? Resources? Scouting? Interfering with the human race? Let me know in the comments. Forest balloon? For our final video of today, we have an orb floating around in the forest in Teposta, Mexico. Sorry for butchering that name. Filmed a couple of years ago in 2016. In this clip we see an orb floating and changing colors while slowly descending into the forest. The object appears to be spinning and has a green and red side, which makes it appear to change color. Or it actually is changing color, I'm not too sure. Personally, I'm not sure what this is. Among locals, the area has a bit of a reputation for strange sightings and witchcraft being practiced in the area. While it certainly is a strange object, it might be a balloon. It would be an odd location for one, but then again, humans are known to do pretty crazy stuff. The balloon does have an odd shape though, it almost looks like some kind of propulsion system on both sides. Or maybe it's just birds reflecting swamp gas. What do you think? So quick one-on-one -on -one talk before we end today's video. Starting from today, we're doing weekly top 5 UFO videos. Let me know if you like this format. And if you know of any other UFO videos that you would like to see covered on this channel, make sure to leave a link in the comments and I'll check it out. Thank you so much for watching and, well, are you a believer now? See you next week.